Reindeer are domesticated and caribou are wild, depending on your point of view. Huge herds migrate long being hollow hairs to help them swim the big rivers like the Yukon between their summer and winter feeding grounds. Their lifespan is 10 to 12 years. Their leg temperature drops to 33 degrees Fahrenheit when it is very cold, while the body temperature stays at 101 degrees Fahrenheit. Reindeer usually have single births. Calves weigh 10 to 20 pounds after a seven month gestation. Reindeer milk is very rich at 18% fat and calves will double their weight in one month. Antlers are grown by bulls, cows, and calves. Antlers are soft, tender, and blood filled with the furry skin called velvet containing thousands of blood vessels carrying minerals for strong bones. While in this stage they serve as a cooling system. Antlers grow for three months, harden in June and July. Velvet is rubbed off in August and September. They go into the rut in September and October when the bulls use the antlers to attract the cows and fight other bulls. Or Our first visit was to a four-year-old moose named Denali, abandoned when young and brought here. He's now seven feet tall at the shoulders and sure loves the attention. Notice his deformed antlers are still in the velvet. People brought grass from along the outside fence, which he enjoys as much as Bev enjoys feeding him. Their long legs serve them well when foraging in the streams and lakes. They have a big body and a main source for human food, as Alaskans take their moose hunts very serious also found himself without a home at a very young age and is living the good life with all his food and shelter provided. As we moved to the reindeer, people were given a small cup of pellets to feed them and what a treat that was for many including Bev. A human temptation was to reach out and touch or hold the antlers but it was stress before we went in not to touch the antlers as they are very tender at this stage and this can cause the reindeer serious problems. There were several older bulls with big racks of antlers. Note the horns on the calves. The large elk herd was in a big area surrounded by very high fences. There were several large pens with 50 to 60 elk total. Notice the fawn still had some of their spots. A young bull liked some grass Bev picked. It's a real treat to watch how graceful these big animals move. A big cow is once over. This Palmer farm is well worth the visit if you're ever in this area.